Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here, and I have some exciting news. Okay, um, my cousin in Michigan called me yesterday, and she says that her and her boyfriend are getting an apartment together, but they could only find a two-bedroom apartment, and since they don't really have any use for the other room, uh, she asked me if I wanted to uh, move in with them. Obviously, I said yes, because <laughs> I don't really have much going for me here, so, yeah. So, yeah, they'll be moving in after Christmas and sometime early in January, I believe, is what she said. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited and looking forward to it. So, obviously, uh, some things are changing a bit. Whereas I was going to apply to Owens Community College and do some stuff like that online, I've decided to go to a different community college. I'm going to uh, my cousin's community college, Lansing, which is uh, Lansing Community College. Through some kind of uh, like agreement with the, uh, the county that she lives in, uh, she's able to get her tuition and everything half off. From an already cheap college to half off, that's pretty damn amazing if I do say so myself. Since we'll still be living in the same county, I'll be able to uh, reap the benefits too. So yeah, I'll be going to uh, Lansing Community College. I'll just be taking, you know, two classes online, so it'll be exactly the same as if I were going to Owens. So I won't have to actually go to the classroom or anything. But if I needed to, she says that she just takes like a bus or something, and she pretty much does the same thing, but she has some classes at the actual campus too. She basically just goes there for uh, Japanese courses, which I thought about doing, but I think it would be best if I just kind of stuck with uh, just two online courses, because basically the whole reason I'm going to community college is to boost my GPA up anyway, and I think two general education courses, getting them out of the way, will be a... Uh, a good start. Yeah, I'll just continue to study Japanese independently. I'll kind of learn from what she's learning so that way, you know, I don't have to pay an extra like 400 some bucks or whatever to take the class. Not to mention going back and forth to Lansing, which actually isn't that far away from where she lives. But still, you know, <laughs> saves me a trip and all that. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. And uh, like, like I said, it does change some plans. Uh, instead of going to Owens, I'll be going to Lansing Community College. I still want to do the whole KCP thing. It's just, uh, I think after I get my GPA boosted up at Lansing, then I will talk, uh, instead of talking with uh, the University of Finley, I'll talk with uh, a campus in, uh, in Michigan, most likely uh, Michigan State, if I can. That'd be pretty flippin' sweet. But if not, there's probably a bunch of other campuses that are affiliated with the KCB, or KCP, I don't know what it is, program. I'll just go through them, and then do my classes. And then I'll just uh, actually go to Japan. But the thing is, um, I probably won't be able to actually go there until uh, probably the fall of next year. If they do accept me and I have the money for everything, because it, it is kind of expensive, so I don't think I'll be able to stay for a, uh, a full year there, at least not initially, unless I get like a, a shit ton of scholarships and all that. Even if I just go to Japan for like a semester, that's, that's fine by me. Because I mean, I've never really lived too far out of state before. I think the furthest I've ever lived was uh, back in Michigan, and then there was a brief time I lived in Indiana, but yeah, not, I haven't really <laughs> strayed too far out of, you know, even the Midwest of uh, America, so I think it'll be really interesting for me to uh, kind of get out of, you know, my country and out of my element, I guess, because I mean, even though I know a lot about Japan and culture and customs and stuff, there's still a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to learn, you know, kind of on the fly, I guess. Just, you know, just because. So, I'm definitely open to that and uh, that sort of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty damn excited. And, uh, oh, by the way, uh, expenses are also going to be uh, pretty cheap, too. With rent and everything being split between three people, we're only going to pay 150 bucks a piece for rent. And, of course, you know, there's also utilities and food expense and gas and this, that, and the other. But still, 150 bucks for rent a month? That is... <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that cheap a rent before. I mean, short of free. But, you know... That doesn't happen too often. And since I know it's family, I know I won't get hustled about the whole subleasing agreement. So basically, uh, my new game plan is I'm still going to look for a job, don't get me wrong, because I, I need the money to actually move in <laughs> and live off of while I'm looking for a job up there. Even though she says that 
despite an, an incredibly high uh, unemployment rate. I mean, Michigan has the highest unemployment rate of uh, any state in the country. I think last I checked, it was like 15 or 16, maybe even 17 percent of the state was unemployed. You know, there's a lot of unemployed people looking for jobs, but on the other hand, there's also uh, job opportunities because there's lots of restaurants in the area, and there's also a city close by that there's even more restaurants and other places of business. And like I did in Bowling Green, I don't really mind working in a restaurant as long as I'm kind of pursuing my goals. You know, I have my own place, I'm maintaining it. I'm going to college. I mean, I'm actually doing something with my life. So I'll be staying up there for several months. Like I said before, I'll be up there until I leave for Japan, which if everything goes right, I mean, something could happen and I, pr and I might not be able to go. But if everything goes right and I'm able to go, then I will leave sometime in October, I believe. So they'll have to get like a roommate to cover for a couple months that I'm not there. Or, you know, if they have enough money saved up, they could just cover it themselves. But still, yeah, I'm really excited, and I'm going to do videos and all sorts of stuff up there, obviously. And uh, my cousin's a big anime freak, too, like me. So, uh, yeah, we might even do, like, some co-anime reviews. Like, if she has an anime that she wants to watch, and, you know, we could watch it together, and then maybe review it together or something, just to kind of, you know, mix things up so it's not just, you know, you don't see my big old head talking to a camera all the time. Even though I know you like that. Nah, just kidding, you probably don't. <laughs> but still, you know, I'm... Ah, man. I'm just rambling on because I'm so excited and I'm also uh, kind of hopped up on frozen coffee. Yeah, I went to this place in uh, Salina and I got... Here's the remnants of my frozen coffee. Mm. That's pretty damn awesome. I haven't had frozen coffee since uh, I was in Urbana way back in the day. <laughs> in Urbana with money. So yeah, I'm pretty psyched. And yeah, that's, that's what I want to tell you. Oh, and uh, I'm still working on my CD review, but it's coming along a lot slower than I thought. For some reason, I was able to write the Megadeth CD review in like an hour, maybe 45 minutes. But this one is just taking days just because I get distracted. There's some parts where I don't really know what to say. So if it does end up sounding a little strange, I do apologize. But I am going to try my best to uh, clear up inconsistencies and also put out a you know, a decent video. It should be done, uh, well, I was going to say by the end of this week, but that's pretty much already happened, so it's probably going to be done by the end of next week, or uh, very early the week after. Um, this video is getting kind of long, so I'm just going to sign off for now. This is the Andy song, signing off for now, like I said. <laughs> Wishing you guys an excellent day, wherever you may be, and uh, I hope to get that CD review out for you guys soon. So yeah.